Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If xn is a monotonically increasing sequence of real numbers that is bounded above, then the sequence converges. Now, to start out our proof, since the sequence is bounded above, this means the set of output values of our sequence has an upper bound. But then, if you recall, one of the properties of real numbers is that since the set of output values of our sequence has an upper bound, it must then have a least upper bound, also known as a supremum. So we will call the least upper bound of that set by the Greek letter xi. And the claim is that our sequence converges to xi. What does it mean for our sequence to converge to xi? Well, by definition of the limit of a sequence, it means the following. It means for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer k, such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, the absolute value of xn minus xi is less than epsilon. Now, an equivalent way of putting this is as follows. Xi minus epsilon is less than xn, which is less than xi plus epsilon. So it turns out it's going to be convenient to obtain this version in our proof. Okay, now we're going to prove that our sequence converges to xi. And to do that, all we got to do is prove this statement. And since we're trying to prove a statement about every epsilon greater than zero, let's give ourselves an arbitrary epsilon greater than zero. From here, we want to find a positive integer k such that this is true. Now notice that xi minus epsilon is less than xi. So this means that xi minus epsilon is smaller than the least upper bound of this set. Therefore, xi minus epsilon cannot be an upper bound of this set. And that means that it is not the case that every element of this set is less than or equal to xi minus epsilon. We must instead have that there is some element in this set that is strictly greater than xi minus epsilon. I'll call that element x sub k. Now remember, our goal has been to find a positive integer such that this is true. And our claim is that the positive integer k that we have here will make this statement true. So let's take k to be the k we have here, and we proceed to prove that this statement is true. Well, since we're trying to prove a statement about every positive integer greater than or equal to k, let's give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer greater than or equal to k. I'll call it n. From here, we want to show that this inequality is true. Well, let's start out by writing xi minus epsilon. And we know that xi minus epsilon is less than xk. But then, as you can imagine, since our sequence is monotonically increasing, then it should go x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and so on and so forth, continuing to get bigger and bigger. So x1 is less than or equal to x2, is less than or equal to x3, and so on and so forth. Now, in some contexts, this will instead be strictly less than. But for our purposes, we'll say it's less than or equal to. So now, since n is greater than or equal to k, this means that xk must be to the left of xn. So xk must be less than or equal to xn. But then, since xi is an upper bound of this set, this means that every element of this set is less than or equal to xi, which means xn is less than or equal to xi. And then, of course, xi is strictly less than xi plus epsilon. So through this chain of inequalities, we have shown that xi minus epsilon 
is less than xn, which is less than xi plus epsilon. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So we have proven this statement, which means our sequence converges to xi. So our sequence converges. And this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.